Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We've reached the Ice Cavern after seeing that Zora's Domain has been completely frozen over, mostly. Except for the... the lake behind it. Also, we can break some of the... the ice... icicles around here. Uh, but some of them are in the ceiling and will fall down and hurt us if we're not careful, so... Need to be very... cautious. Ow. Luckily, they don't, don't do too much damage. Also, ice physics with a spike trap is a, not a fun thing, so we need to be careful with this in here. Let's see if Din's fire gets rid of these blizzards, I'm pretty sure they're what they're called. Yep. Very nice. Freezard. Okay, I was close. Watch out for its freezing breath. Destroy it completely before it re revives. So yes, they can freeze us, which is going to be really annoying. And we're actually going to meet the most annoying enemy in the game. Not too long from now, actually. But anyway, let's get out of here before that spike trap gets me. And keep exploring this place. I really like the ice cavern. This ice cavern is, isn't actually a dungeon, but it was supposed to be originally when the game was being made. It was a scrapped idea. But I think it's pretty cool, so... Also need to be careful of that thing in the middle of the room spinning because it can actually hurt you. There's a... Skull Solar up here that we can get. There we go. Now, need to be careful. Well, this actually, no, you're not going to tell me what this is, are you, Navi? That's a shame. We need to get all of these ooh, silver rupees from this room. Oh, hello. I think we can also shield to duck underneath the blades as well, which is helpful. Or we'll possibly roll underneath them, and you'll be able to dodge them a little bit, but just, just don't. Get hit, basically. Oh my goodness, that does look like it should be cutting through me. Oh, I'm a pro. I know exactly what I'm doing. Anyway, let's go up this way. Going further into this place. This place is so cool. Pun not intended. I just like ice areas, apparently. I don't know why. I think the color of it is the main thing. It's all blue. Who would have thought that I would like some area that's mostly blue because of all the ice? Also, meet the worst enemy in the game. The Ice Keys. If it touches you, it will freeze you and it won't have its blue ice frame flame go out. Just right before it flies into you. Also, what happens if I use Din's Fire? That does actually work. Good to know. I will keep this in mind and continue to make my revenge as sweet as possible. It's, it is using a lot of magic though, to spend it. Well, not that much magic, but anyway. But anyway, we need to get across here carefully. And we find this blue flame here. This blue fire, it doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something. Maybe I can, but first off, I have to use a regular flame to get rid of this ice keys because they are the worst. And now it's time to empty out our bottles again. I might keep one fairy, but I I will want a lot of this blue flame just to be safe. And it's not like I've needed a fairy anytime so far, so I should be good. There they go. Better safe than sorry. Anyway, we can put this blue flame into a bottle. You can also buy this from the shop, we've already seen that. This is a cool flame you can use with the C buttons. Let's grab some more of this. This is just such a cool idea. This is just such a cool idea. Okay, now we need to get across this. Carefully. Like that. And the interesting thing about the blue flame is that if we pull it out and drop it on the ground, is it melts the red ice. Which 
We get the dungeon map. Remember, this was originally supposed to be a main dungeon, but it's only a sub-dungeon. Now we can look at that. It's quite big, but it's only one floor. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get through. Now I do want to get another blue flame to replace the one that I just used, so let's do that. I'm also tempted to use my fourth bottle, but I don't know how much I'm going to need. Exactly. So, let's go up this way. Making our way back through. Because now that we have the blue flame, we can actually do a few things. And so, I think... Hang on, I need to look at my map. Oh, wrong way. I need to go... This way, I believe. We can melt these uh, red ice walls. Allowing us to go in a couple of directions here. I'm also going to need a few things. I probably don't want to do that. Let me do that instead. Okay, I think this is the correct way. It's difficult to tell without the compass. Yes, good. And here is another blue flame that we can get, so we can get our flame book back that we just used. Which is helpful. Let's do that. Also, I can hear Skulltula. And the interesting thing about this place... I think it's on the other side... Is there's actually a... A piece of heart here, inside of this dungeon. Which is... Not normal, so far. There's actually quite a few pieces of heart here that we've collected recently, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, another heart container, but also up here somewhere is a gold sculptor. So let's get that. Very nice. Let's also open up this chest here. Just like that. And this is... The compass. Which would have been helpful a few seconds ago. There's not much of the this place left, so... Let's grab a little bit more blue flame. I'm glad it doesn't take too long to put them into bottles. It takes longer to empty the bottles than to, op uh, to fill the bottles. Which feels like it shouldn't be that way. Ow, 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 ow. It's fine, I didn't take any damage, apparently. Not that much damage, at least. Also, some of the pots in this room will actually fly at you and try to attack you. Usually giving you a heart in the process, though. Which is a little bit funny. Not all the time, just most of the time. Anyway, let's head through here now. And I might actually need more blue flame than, than this. That's okay, because it's also another blue flame spot to get some... I don't think that's the way that I should have structured that sentence. There's another spot to get some blue flame in here. Let's also get rid of some of these ice keys if I can. There's also another gold sculpture over here that we can get if I use the right button and not waste my blue flame. I'm sad. There we go. I would have thought that that direction on the C buttons would be harder to accidentally press. But I guess not. Anyway. There's also some red rupees up there that we could also possibly get if we wanted them. But first let me get rid of this ice keys, of course. Now, we have silver rupees that we need to collect before we can go that way. One of them is covered in red ice, though. So, let's push this block around. I think I may have made a slight mistake with this decision here, but that's okay. Because we can push this block around, it allows us to get to places that we couldn't get before. Uh, if we need to reset it, though, we can push it off one of the edges, and it'll respawn back where it started. 
which is helpful. Uh, let me get some more of this, if I can. And also, if I get out my ocarina and play the Song of Time, a couple of Song of Time blocks appear here, which allows us to get those red rupees. If we really needed them, but we don't. But I'm going to collect them anyway, so. Just like that, 60 rupees that I just didn't need. Also, I don't think the silver rupees are worth anything. Or possibly only worth one. Something not a lot, at the very least, so. Um, let's grab this, please. Thank you. Now, where do I want to push this block? Possibly off the edge? Or possibly a few other places, maybe. Maybe I'm doing it right. Hang on. And then push it that way. No, um, it's fine. Actually, I need to probably reset this completely because I don't think it's going to work otherwise. So let's just do a bit of that. Now, I think what I want to do instead actually is just push this there and then over to the platform. Like that. Simple enough. Up we go. Let's, let's get the silver rupee. Which is interesting because silver rupees in future games are worth a hundred, I'm pretty sure. Very nice. Grab that. I think I was actually supposed to get a little bit more... What's it called, though? Blue fire. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Anyway, let's get this... I think this is the last silver rupee up here. Climb, please. Have to actually press the button to climb. But there we go. Now... I need to get this block into the position that I want it to be in. Might also grab another piece of blue fire if I can jump from over here. Which I think I can. Especially with these Song of Time blocks here, but I don't need them, so... Grab that. Okay. Go around the pillar, please. And not slide off the edge. I don't like ice physics. I just have to say that right now. I mean, it's it's fun sometimes. But not to right now in this game. It slows you down a lot. But anyway, push that block into place and now we can get to the next area. We should have at least three blue flames at this point. Okay. Let's get rid of you if I can, please. Slight slope here, which makes things interesting. There we go. We need to use one blue flame to get past these red ice crystals. And go into this door here. Into the coolest room of the game. And fight this white wolf, uh, wolf host. Lure it close to you and watch its movements movements carefully. Attack it when it drops its guard. And we can kill it in one hit still. We get the iron boots. So heavy you can't run. So heavy you can't float. We meet again, Link. 
If you came here to meet the Azoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under the th this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of that cur of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes, people move, like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition, young love will become deep affection, the clear water's surface reflects growth. Now listen to the ser serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. You have learned the serenade of water. Link, I'll see you again. Well, there we go. Now we have several things now. First of all, we have the iron boots, which is on the equipment screen. We're just going to make things a little bit difficult for us, though. Because that means we have to go to the equipment screen screen every time we want to de-equip equip and de-equip the iron boots. We'll go back to Kokiri boots. Whenever we're on land with the iron boots, we go slower. But now whenever we touch we go into water with iron boots, we can actually stay underwater. You can't breathe underwater if you start choking. Take the, off those boots. Depending on how many hearts we actually have filled, we have a time limit that goes down slowly. Once the timer goes all the way to zero, we just die, so. It's a lot like being inside of a volcano without the Goron tunic, so. But anyway, that's everything we need from here. Let's go. Since this loops back to the entrance. You only need one extra blue flame, but I'm going to have two just, to, just because I want to. Now, I also want to equip my iron boots now and go to the very bottom of the Zora Fountain. Because down here is a lot of rupees for one thing. But also, down at the very bottom is a piece of heart. So let's go ahead and grab that. And now we can de-equip the iron boots to get out of here. We're not done yet, though, because there's a few more things we can do in Zora's Domain, which will be quite helpful to us. Okay. Let's head out of here. Now, the reason you might want to, though, is uh, just in case you run into problems later on down the line. Two blue flames. So, for the first one, let's melt Zora King. Just like that. We will definitely want the Zora King, though. Okay. Can't speak to him over here. We have to go back onto this platform here. Oh, I've come back to life. 
Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. We get the Zora tunic. This diving suit is adult size, so it won't fit a kid, wear it and you won't drown underwater. So now as long as we have this equipped when we're underwater, we won't take, we won't die from drowning. Also, I believe if you get hit by a ice enemy with the uh, Goron's tunic on, you'll take more damage. And if you get hit by a fire attack, you'll take more damage with the Zora tunic. I might be wrong about that, but also, it doesn't matter anyway. Just don't get hit. And always wear the tunic that makes sense to wear anyway. Now, also apparently I can just see an icon here telling me something. Oh, I guess it's wanting me to do something with the Skulltulas. Also, I think if you have all the Skulltulas in an area, it will mark the- It will have a Skulltula icon next to the name of the area. So that's interesting. Especially because Death Mountain still has a Skulltula somewhere, apparently. Okay, Kuriko's good. Lost Wood is good. Kakuri Forest is good. And Zora's Domain still has something as well. That's actually interesting to me. Have to figure out what I've missed somewhere. Anyway, we have to use this last blue flame on the Zora shop. Which this means that we can buy a Zora tunic if we lose a Zora tunic to a like like. Same thing goes with the Goron tunic. You can get a new one from the Goron shop in the Goron city. But anyway, now. I can't think of where I'm missing. Oh, actually, maybe I am. I do know. At least for Zora's domain, I know where to get the missing thing. Uh, but I think I need to head over to Ku uh, to Kakariko now, so I might actually go this way, maybe? Maybe. It might be a good idea to go this way. Oh, there's actually a couple things I can do now, especially since now that we have the iron boots, we can just equip those and go through some of these tunnels and stuff, especially with the Zora tunic helping us breathe. Also, Blink is blue now, and I'm happy. Also, I believe the Skulltula icons on the map also uh, are telling you about dungeons, which is convenient for me because this is actually something I should have done a little bit earlier than this, probably. Let's go back into the... what's it called? Tongo's Cavern, as Adult Link. Because this is something we can actually do. It's a little bit strange, but it's, it's fine. Uh, but anyway, in here, we want to go over to the right side of the dungeon. Which might take me some time because that pillar's going to go up before I get to it. Yep, oh well, that's fine. I can just go over here and walk up. Or climb up this. You can also... no, that doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, we can actually... Go over here if we can. And over here, back in this room with all of the Dodongos in here, which are still here because the, the dungeons don't change when you're an adult, which this is the only dungeon you can actually come back to as an adult. But there is a Skulltula in here that we couldn't get as Child Link because we need to use the Scarecrow song and the Hookshot. So we could have got this a little bit earlier than this. Also, I just realized I'm ruining it, but it's fine. Ruining... it's fine. You know what I mean. Let's grab that though, please. Thank you. Very nice. And now... Oh, I can't check from here. I need to leave the dungeon. It's, it seems so strange to come back to a dungeon way later in the game. But I mean, we could have done this before the forest temple. Uh, but now, I believe... That Death Mountain is not complete. Okay. I'm still missing one somewhere. And I will never figure out where at this rate. No, I probably will. Okay, back in Kakariko now. I think it's daytime? Just barely? Yes, it is. Which means there's no music playing. It's a weird thing that happens when the game hasn't actually started playing music yet. In the morning. But anyway. Or I guess it is playing music and it's just the ambience. But if we go in here, 
we can hear Talon is sleeping here in the corner. Malon, doing all right, mumble mumble. Sorry to make you worry. Well, let's just get out the ocarina. No, the chicken that we got. Warren Tarnation? Can't a person get a little shot eye around here? No, you cannot. Did you save Mal Melon? Thanks, I'm going back to the ranch. Then, yeehaw! Cool. We did it. We woke him up. Anyway. Let's see what uh, Andrew has to say now. That we have a chicken fully grown. Oh, your cuckoo looks pretty happy. He must have awakened. An extremely lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. I'll give you a rare, valuable cuckoo. If you're interested. Its name is Kojiro. Or Kohiro. I don't know. Kojiro. And it used to be my brother's cuckoo. Its blue body is quite charming. It's so cute. Since my brother has gone, it's strange. But Kojiro hasn't, has stopped crowing. Do you want to keep Kajuro? Sure. And we get Kajuro. In re uh, return to the pocket cuckoo and got Kajuro in return. Unlike other cuckoos, Kajuro rarely crows. It's also blue. You know, the normal color for a, a cuckoo to be. Blue. <laughs> I guess it's not that strange. If it was darker blue. But anyway, let me just quickly double check that I've talked to all of these brothers here. I don't think this is why the marker on the map was telling me to go here. But, I'm gonna just double check. Okay. I was correct. Also, hello. Thank you for saving my kids. What? Me? Oh, that's okay. You have already destroyed 70 spiders of the curse so far, so that's fine. Don't worry about it. About me. Oh, But I've already got 70, so I've got 20 more than I would need, so I might as well go get the rest as well. Uh, but anyway, now that we have Kojiro, let's go... Back to the Lost Woods. Also, we can take out this guy from behind now that he's turned around whenever we leave the dungeon. But now we have also got the arrows. Take that, and that, and also that. Please, thank you. There we go. That's a lot of rupees he dropped. Wow, 60 rupees. so nice just being able to take them out in one hit. Can't imagine them taking more. I'm also going to get some fairies while I'm here. And also just because I want to show what happens when you get seen by one of these things. They make that sound and charge at you at full speed like that. And then you have to wait for them to not be charging at you so you can get up and get rid of them. Oh, hello. There we go. So yeah, they're terrifying, but we can leave them now. It's also worth getting lost in the Lost Woods to just loop round again. Uh, Kojiro? Kojiro. It's fine. So if we go over here, Kojiro seems very happy. Because we found this guy again, who we saw seven years ago in uh, Kakariko. No response. He's sleeping. Well, let's give him Kojiro. Kojiro, why? Normally, only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means... You... You must be a nice guy. Must be. You must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop. In Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long. So you gotta hurry. Okay. 
So now we have to run to Kakariko with an odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to the Kakariko potion shop quickly. We have three minutes to do it. Also, this means that if we have the bean plant over here, it will help us get out of here faster, so. I don't think the timer goes down when, when you're off uh, in a transition screen. Which is helpful. Also, I'm gonna jump off now. And get out of here. We can use a pony to make things go by a little bit faster. We could also take the shortcut in... Uh, the Lost Woods to Goron City, but I don't think it's going to be much faster, is the only thing. I don't even- I think it actually might be slower, possibly. Depending on if you're like me and walk slowly. Oh, please turn, Epona. Please turn, Epona. I have two min and a half minutes to get to where I need to go. Luckily, Epona's going to make this work out a lot faster. We've got plenty of time. Please go across the bridge. Okay, and stop. And down. Okay. So we need to head to the potion shop and find the old hag that we've already seen already, which I pointed out sometime we were here. When I was looking at the potion shop in the bazaar, showing that they're here. Okay, through here. Almost there. It does give you plenty of time. Okay, into here. And let's give it to this old lady here. By talking to her. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What a mysterious smell. You must have something. Well, I guess I do have to show it to her. That bum, he had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. Okay. If you see that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. Well, there we go, we get odd potion. You don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Well, let's get going. We also don't have to worry about time counting down now, so that's good. I don't know if we- I think we can teleport with this and be okay. I don't think we're allowed to teleport with the, um... The mushroom, though, when it's got the time counting down. Maybe we are, but I don't remember completely, so... Nope, bad, bad timing. I thought I could just walk up it, or climb up the ladder quickly enough. But nope. Okay, so upon returning to the Lost Woods, um... That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Oh. Uh, ma m medicine? That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who- okay, same text as I would have had anyway. Anyone- everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left, hee <laughs> hee. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Yes, okay. And we get... Uh, re returned to the old odd potion and got the poacher's saw. The young punk guy must have left this behind. Hee hee hee. Are you going to... Are you going to be two? Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, I'm gonna leave now and head out. To somewhere else. But I believe now, if I reload the area, I might be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure. 
As long as it's not changed. Or something. I don't know what... Uh, uh, it's fine. Go over here. The Skull Kid's now here. But also, he's an enemy. Is this what happens to kids who wonder it's the same text as before? But now he's an enemy, and I actually want to kill him if I can. Please. Oh, he jumped away. That's not what I want. Ah, it's fine. He also shoots darts at you, so you need to be careful of that. But, if we can manage to kill him... Like that. He drops a very special looking rupee, which is orange, that we can actually pick up. And this is actually a huge rupee, worth 200. And the best part about this is, if we reload the area, he respawns. And so does... The huge rupee. So we can grind 200s at a time rupees by killing a skull kid over and over and reloading the area. So we basically have infinite money now. He doesn't hurt too badly, but you can't use spin attack, jump attack, or probably any of your other items. You just have to use regular attacks to get rid of, get rid of him. To, to grind rupees. But anyway, let's head out into the field. So now... We actually want to call a pony and head for Gerudo Canyon. Okay, let's head up here with a pony. And now, let's start building up speed because the bridge has been destroyed. But if we have a pony and go fast enough, we can jump the whole thing. Now, I could do a few more things over here and explore this way, but I'm going to hold off on that until later. Uh, I am Master Craftsman. Those Gerudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I want to fix it, but all of my workers are gone. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Gerudo's fortress to become thieves. Hey, you. If you're going to the fortress, would you mind finding out what my workers are doing over there? I might find out what they're doing, but for now I'm going to give you this saw. Hey, that's my s that saw. It's mine. But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well. My Bigoron tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. Your coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Yes, I will. Good kid, thanks. I'm sorry that I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyway. And he gives us the b broken Goron sword. Visit Big Goron to get it repaired. So we'll have to do that. And I guess the fastest way to get there is to uh, use the Bolero of Fire. So we don't want to go into the uh, Goron City, we actually want to go up this way uh, to the top of Death Mountain Crater. So let's do that. Just need to climb all the way up here. And then we're there, basically. Also, once we get up here... Okay, never mind, I'm going to have to do something else, but anyway, I'll, I'll explain that later, it's fine. Anyway, up here, Death Mountain Trail, there is a gigantic Goron up here. Just as you do. That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but... But because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go see the King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. Yes. 
I will do that. You checked in the broken Goron sword and received a prescription. Go see King Zora. Okay, so now we need to head to Zora's domain. Now, I guess the fastest way to Zora's domain would be to, um, what's it called? Uh, go through the Lost Woods, so I should probably do that via Goron City. Okay, let's see what happens if we show this prescription to the king. King Zora. Oh, this is, well, hmm, hmm, eye drops. You might say we are, we have them. You might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he will, he can make eye, the eye drops for you. But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Yes. And now we get the eyeball frog. Be quick and deliver it to the lake Hylia while it's cold. So now we need to run at full speed as best as I can. It's a little bit slow, but that's okay. We have three minutes to get to Lake Hylia, which could be interesting. But as long as I get to the field pretty quick, I can use the pony to get to Lake Hylia, since the shortcut has been frozen over. There's not really any better shortcuts down there. But anyway. Actually, there is a better shortcut down there, but it's not really going to help me at the moment. Also, we're too tall to float down the water. That's interesting. Ah, popcorn. Okay, swim at full speed, thank you. I'm glad I can actually use the river's momentum down here, at the very least. Nowhere further up the river can I do that, but down here I can. Okay, now, opponent song. Where is Epona? There. And I need to go the opposite direction of where I currently am. Turn, 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 turn. Let's go. And because we have Epona, we can actually just jump the fences here. Even the tall ones. So let's do that. And do that instead of using the ladders to get past. Go, 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 go. I have a minute left. That should be plenty of time. But I can still panic if I want to. <laughs> I can still panic. It's fine. Okay, stop right there. Somehow breaking the fence. Gonna dismount. Oh, go around. And in we go. This is the lakeside laboratory. Laboratory. Whatever. Ah, uh, talk to the person. Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've m met that old lady from the potion shop. She is like a student of mine. Ho ho ho. Oh wow. I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Sora's domain froze over. Those eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Oh, yeah, 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 boy. Such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. Eh, what? These are for making Bigoron's eye drops. Oh, how disappointing. You should have said so in the first place. Here it is. This medicine doesn't have any preservatives in it, so it won't last long at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young. You can do it. So now we get what I think looks really cool. The world's finest eye drops. Hurry, take them to Big Oran before they go bad. So yet again, we have another timer going down, but this time we have four minutes, which is plenty of time. So we're pretty much guaranteed to make it. If you have the, um, oh, get up. If you have the beam plant planted on Death Mountain, that's extra, extra good, so. 
Go, please. Thank you. Uh-oh. That's not good. Ah! I've made a terrible, horrible mistake. Have to be careful, careful not to jump onto the fences as well, because otherwise you get stuck on top of them. Okay, beam plant, take me all the way up, please. <laughs> Probably not all the way up, it's just going to take me up to the second bit where I have to go up the mountain. And then I have to climb after that, so just there. Helps a lot with saving time. I wonder if I can walk backwards faster here. Probably. I also have to deal with the sculptors on the wall. I think? Yes. Which I can also use my hook shot to take out, kind of. Oh, hello. Just gonna try and climb past if I can. Carefully. Oh, carefully. Very carefully. Just wait for it to move. Okay, go, 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 go. Stop. Go. Nope, stop. Oh, that was close. It saw me. Okay, go, 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 good. We are great. Plenty of time. So now, let's give these eye drops to Big Goron. There you go. Really? You brought the eye drops? I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. Wow! This is stimulating. It's working great. Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent. So I'll give you- give the- uh, this to you. So you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait. Just wait patiently. So now we get the claim check. The big rod sword, the clip nope, just you got the claim check for it. You can't wait for the sword to be completed. So much so that I'm gonna stand here for three days. Oh, no, hang on. Not yet. Hey you. You are impatient. Hang on. I want to wait here, so I'm gonna do the sun song for three. Th three days, I believe. Ah, good morning. Oh, there it goes. Fast day cycle here. <laughs> oh, hang on. Just somebody on the light with the light switch just flicking it on and off, and that's the day cycle of Hyrule. I don't know how many times I've played the song right now. I made this trade for claim check. That sword is my finest work. And now. We handed in the claim check and got the bigger on sword. This is like the giant's knife, but it doesn't break. So now we just have the ultimate sword for defeating things. This blade was forged by a master with ma master smith and won't break. So there we go, bigger on sword, which is infinitely better than the giant's knife, and you should not waste your money on the giant's knife. But anyway, I think that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.